what donkey trade means for vulnerable communities in Africa? Well, what we've learned this morning, it's not just about us watching a program on television. We see some third world countries where people don't have motorized transport, um, and we see them with a donkey that's carrying goods from the store or carrying water. Um, what we didn't really understand was the depth of importance just the part that the donkey plays to actually the economy and the well-being of a family. Uh, what we've learned this morning, we've now seen that donkeys are being stolen, uh, they're being poached, uh, the cost of buying a donkey has now risen and it's exorbitant and it's all obviously going into a trade for Chinese medicines for example, so the demand is actually growing worldwide. The negative impact on these families in countries like Africa is now actually having a real effect. So what we've been looking at is trying now to listen to the NGOs, uh, Brooke, obviously the um, horse charities, how we can now move this forward with local and national politicians from countries around the world to try and protect what is an integral part of communities and livelihoods for millions of people. Uh, do you think really these Chinese medicines help or it can be some artificial substitute? Because is there any scientific proof that these medicines really work? Um, I suppose that's debatable whether it's Chinese or not. Um, but I think the matter of the facts are what we have learned this morning that the biotech industry can actually produce uh, the substances that they're using, obviously, killing donkeys to, to make Chinese medicine. So they can do them artificially. So what we're looking at is hopefully that they, they may be part of the answer to this problem um, because they already have the technology available. I think um, substances like collagen was mentioned. There are clearly others. I'm not a chemist, so I don't know all of the details of that. But it really is looking at uh, solutions to see how we can deal with this too. What was your message to Chinese ambassador and to Chinese authorities? Well, we do know that there is goodwill. Uh, we do try and work very closely with the ambassadors and certainly from the Chinese ambassador who is in Brussels. Um, they've made great steps in some areas regarding bear, bear bile, which is a pretty horrific, uh, obviously a horrific product as well. Um, and I think there is a recognition that this needs to be stepped up. It isn't just China. There are other countries involved as well, but we know it's huge and it's big business. And so we do want a real proactive lead by the Chinese ambassador and the authorities. Uh, and we will be there to support them. And we think that's the best way forward.